Warren Buffett's buying and selling Jared Blickery. He's looking at pharmaceuticals, but getting rid of Apple. What's going on? Yeah, let's take a look at what he's buying and selling, because as you said, lots of pharmaceuticals are new buys right now. So one is AbbVie, and uh, I actually have this in the Wi-Fi Interactive. So let's take a look at that. We can see AbbVie is up about 1.69% in aftermarket trading, bought 21 million shares, valued at about $1.86 billion. Also bought Merck, uh, 22 million shares, valued $1.86 billion. Noticing a pattern here. Bristol-Myers, $1.81. Snowflake, remember that was disclosed a few weeks ago, $1.5. Five four billion and T-Mobile two hundred seventy six million. Uh, we can also take a look at what he has been selling in his decreased holdings. We're seeing Wells Fargo. Uh, he sold one hundred ten million shares. That's down forty six percent. And he also sold some other banks. J.P. Morgan down ninety six percent from his previous holdings. PNC three point four three million down sixty four percent. Barrett Gold. Remember he brought he bought gold. Well, at least an exposure to gold in terms of mining. Uh, that's down 43%. M&T Bank Corp down 36%. And finally, Liberty Global, uh, Class A, those shares are down. He sold those shares as well. Now, his current top holdings, those are Apple. Now, he sold some Apple shares, but um, still has $944 million worth, almost a billion, or excuse me, 944 million shares valued at $109 billion. And this is his biggest position overall. It's about 48% of the Berkshire portfolio. Bank of America still owns 85, excuse me, he added. And so those are up 85 million to 1.01 billion. And those are worth 24 billion. Coca-Cola is unchanged at 19.7 billion. And then we have uh, American Express. Those are unchanged at 15.2 billion. And then finally, Kraft Heinz. Those are unchanged. And that is worth 9.75 billion. Adam?